The Italian Renaissance was a time of immense cultural and artistic creativity in Italy. This era marked a transition from the Middle Ages to the modern era, as it witnessed a revival of interest in classical Greek and Roman literature, art and philosophy. The Renaissance was characterised by a renewed focus on humanism, individualism and the pursuit of knowledge and beauty. One of the most celebrated aspects of the Italian Renaissance is its art. Renowned for its beauty, harmony and technical mastery, the era focused on perfect form, a deep appreciation for the natural world and a desire to capture the essence of the human experience. In this video, we will look at five masterpieces of the Italian Renaissance, examining the themes and subjects of the works, to gain a greater understanding of their magnificence. The Birth of Venus Completed around 1484 to 1486 by Sandro Botticelli, it depicts the classical mythological figure Venus, the goddess of love and beauty, emerging from the sea. The painting is set on a beach and surrounded by lush greenery. In the painting, Venus stands delicately on a giant scallop shell which is carried by the wind and waves towards the shore. She is portrayed as a young, idealised woman with long flowing golden hair, covering her nudity with her long flowing locks. Symbolising purity and innocence, she is accompanied by several mythological figures. On the left side, Zephyrus, the god of the warm, gentle west wind, is shown blowing towards the goddess, directing her towards land. His lover, Chloris, represented by a nymph covered in flowers, is touched by the wind and transformed into a goddess herself. On the right side of the painting, Hora of Spring, the embodiment of the season, waits for Venus on shore, ready to cover her in a luxurious flowered cloak. Botticelli's composition and use of vibrant colour makes the painting visually stunning. The graceful poses, soft contours and flowing garments create a sense of elegance and beauty. The calm expression on Venus's face adds a touch of serenity to the painting, emphasising her divine femininity. The birth of Venus is considered one of the most famous and iconic works of the Italian Renaissance. It represents the revival of classical mythology and culture during this period, as well as a celebration of beauty, love and sexuality. The School of Athens A fresco painted by Italian artist Raphael in the early 16th century. It is located in the Vatican's Apostolic Palace and is one of the most renowned works of the High Renaissance. The fresco depicts a gathering of ancient philosophers, scholars and mathematicians in a grand hall, which although is meant to represent the Platonic Academy, is markedly Roman in design. This masterpiece encapsulates the Renaissance ideals of humanism, showcasing the importance of education, reason and intellectual pursuits. It serves as a tribute to the great thinkers of antiquity and their contributions to civilization. Scattered around this anachronistic hall, we can see intellectual titans of the classical age, such as Euclid, the father of geometry, teaching his students. Pythagoras, engrossed in his work, sat next to a conversational Archimedes, and a disgruntled-looking Socrates lecturing those nearby. At the centre of the animated scene, we find Plato and Aristotle engaged in intense debate, with Plato, the old master, pointing to the heavens, representing his belief in truth deriving from the realm of the forms, whereas the pupil, Aristotle, gestures his hand downwards to the earth, suggesting that truth comes instead from our experiences in nature. Incredible that Raphael was able to encapsulate arguably the most central debate in philosophy with two simple hand gestures. The Vitruvian Man 
Although perhaps the most simplistic work on the list, it is no less iconic. The illustration by Florentine polymath Leonardo da Vinci depicts a male figure standing in two superimposed positions, with arms and legs spread apart and a circle and square inscribed around him. The drawing is based on the work of the ancient Roman architect Vitruvius, who believed that the proportions of the human body should harmonise with geometric shapes. Leonardo explores the idea of the perfect human form and its relation to mathematical principles. It has become a symbol of art, science and the ideal representation of the human body, embodying the Renaissance fascination with the intersection of art and science. The Vitruvian Man is considered one of Leonardo da Vinci's most iconic and influential artworks, with it being hailed as justly ranked among the all-time iconic images of Western civilization. The Assumption of the Virgin The painting was created by the Italian Renaissance artist Titian between the years 1516 and 1518. It is considered one of his most significant works and is located in Venice, Italy. The painting depicts the moment Mary, the mother of Jesus, is assumed into heaven after her death. The scene shows a group of apostles gathered around Mary's empty tomb, gazing upwards as she ascends to heaven, surrounded by golden light. Through his mastery of light and shadow, Titian achieved a sense of three-dimensionality in the figures and created a palpable atmosphere. This is evidence in the contrast between the radiant figure of Mary and the darkness of the apostles at the bottom of the painting. The figures are dynamically posed, displaying a range of emotions from awe and wonder to sorrow and confusion. This served as a break from the calm and stately manner in which the apostles were typically represented and would have undoubtedly been quite shocking to viewers at the time. Nevertheless, it soon acquired its rightful status as a masterpiece, which it maintains today. The Creation of Adam Painted by Michelangelo as part of the Genesis narrative depicted on the Sistine Chapel ceiling, the painting portrays the biblical scene where God gives life to Adam, the first man. In the painting, Adam is depicted lying on a rock with an outstretched arm, symbolising his readiness to receive the gift of life. He is shown in a reclining position, almost as if he is asleep, with his hand extended towards God. The focal point of the painting is the dramatic moment when the fingers of God and Adam almost touch. The two fingers are separated by a small gap, which symbolises the important moment when God imparts life to his creation. The painting is celebrated for its monumental size, exceptional composition and remarkable skill in capturing the human form. Michelangelo's mastery of anatomical detail is evident in the depiction of both God and Adam, creating a sense of realism and vitality. The creation of Adam is considered one of the greatest masterpieces of Western art, showcasing Michelangelo's skill and creativity. It is amongst the most widely reproduced religious paintings in the world. These are just some of the finest works of the Italian Renaissance, with countless others still to explore. But these works alone illustrate what an inspiring and vibrant time it was culturally in Italy. Though the hands and minds that created these peerless works have gone, their works remain as a reminder of just how brilliant they were. Thank you for joining us at Canned History. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, then like, comment and subscribe.